they've been nervous this whole time. The, like developers would call and say, hey, because of COVID, you know, we're not gonna build anymore. We're not gonna do this anymore. As soon as COVID hit, all non-essential work stopped for four months. But guess what? They are back in business, baby. So I'm headed over there to check in. Oh man, oh, oh wow. The facade is all the way up. It's all the glass up. 50 floors. It's not 155 floors, you From can count. From here, look up. I, the Russian counting, you've really got to work on it. Well, not exactly, but. Yeah, pull up right there. Oh, wait, can't forget. This is like my face condom. Hey, you're late. The whole city's been shut down. COVID. Good to see you. You too. How you been? I'm excited. I mean, it's been seven months since we've walked this now. It was a shell back then. Can you show me? We should I want to see. You. Let's go. So, last time we stood here, there was no facade. Everything's up. It's super cool. So, hallways. We got hallways. We got hallways now. One bed, studio, two bed, three bed. So exciting. Yes. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is what we're talking about. How cool is this? These ceilings are insane. 20 foot ceilings, 2,500 square feet, four bedroom, and a football field for a private terrace. And 70% of the building has outdoor space here, right? Plus the common roof deck. Yep. Listen, it looks great. We're gonna have models in six months. We should pick back up on the marketing meetings and start. Don't do anything. Just put it on hold. For now, pencils down. So don't, don't do anything right now. Don't do anything. It's just maybe for rent versus for sale. Shall we talk about New York? Yes, yes, that's why I came. I was just getting lost in this dreamy Palm Springs world for a second. But back to reality. Back to reality. Should we sit here? Sure. Okay, so New York isn't doing so well, as you know. It's an election year which is historically tricky, regardless of how it goes, it's the uncertainty that people don't like. We have a pandemic, and we have something like 40,000 empty available apartments in New York City sitting for sale. I'm not here to tell you be negative. I'm actually here with some good news because we have offers, but I want you to know that if you want to sell now, mm -hmm. which I think you do, you have to come down in price. West Chelsea was actually truthfully difficult before the pandemic because of the inventory levels. And now, you know, with so few buyers, they're actually with an appetite to buy. I think any and all offers should be taken seriously. Having said those things, there's two buyers around six million, both of them. And we're asking six million out of five. So I know that's a big hit. And I'm not saying that you should take it. But I do think that what happens when you have two buyers around independently, not knowing what the other party's doing, mm -hmm. it shows kind of where the market is. But we gotta have to try to bring them up a little bit. We thought we'd make quite a bit of money out of this apartment. And I know the world's changed, but yeah. it's a little bit disappointing. We just can't get someone to bite at the levels that you want. These are two willing and ready buyers. Right. So. You know, we're realistic and we want to sell the place, but I'd be reluctant to take six. We hired you because we thought you were the best broker. I am the best. At the moment, we're going to be, it looks like we're going to be losing money on this apartment. And I know the world's changed, but it's disappointing, is what I'm saying. I want to hear about KJ in high school. Were you the popular um, girl? I did a lot of sports and a lot of studying. I definitely hosted my fair share of parties. Right here you have the, the Rye High School. school the Garnet. The Garnet. Love yep. it. This is the church that Stefano and I got married in. Oh my God. I converted to Catholicism there. Wow. <laughs> you are a good wife. This house was on the market forever. I think it traded for like 10 million. Growing up in Rye, I didn't really pay that much attention to real estate. I was really focused on my schoolwork and sports and friends, and I never really had a specific job or career path that I wanted to have. All I wanted to do was just be fabulous. It's like, I don't know what job it's gonna be, but it's gonna involve being really fabulous all the time. Which is funny because I was a big Dave Matthews kind of girl with like overalls. Very tomboy, very tomboy. I'm sure we can find photos of that. This is my old house, look! 
That's so 320 cute. Grace Church Street. So is this the garage you lived above? Yeah, I lived above the garage and oh I used to gosh. sneak out and my boyfriend would see, would sit right here <laughs> in his car and then I would like run into the car and I would disappear then I'd come back at like 4 o'clock in the morning. That's amazing. Yep. And I would get caught like every five times. <laughs>